So the second leg of the Per Temps Handicap Hurdle is next, and it's a second qualifier. Uh, the finals at Cheltenham later on in the season. It's three miles, 0 to 140 handicap hurdle. And the top one is Original Sunny for Graham Clutterbuck, Bailey Plume for James Shade, Dicky Dares for C. Beckwith, National Heroine. Paul Rhodes, Hamari Largo for Hims, Ring of Esteem, T. Rogers, The White Witch, Joshua Sutherland, Mr. Frosty, Darren Thompson, Flaky Duffcott for Graham Clutterbuck, Pink Champagne, Derek Hinton, Private Benamin, Paul O'Neill, Monty Casino, Paul Fisk, Dishy, T. Rogers, Robin Faze, Martin Lederman, Inspector Bergerac, Paul Rhodes, Elena Treat, Alex Cherry, Hadaj, and Goodbye Millie for Vinnie Gerard and Tahiti Noise for Alex Cherry, so 19 then, we're at Liverpool, big old crowd, almost looks like National Day, doesn't it, and they're short run to the first, and they're all safely over that first flight, with the grey, the white, which just the early leader, as they pass the chair, they've got 13 flights to take in all, they're already taking the first one, so they've got 12 more to go, and Bailey Plume in the green, up the centre of the track, and the white witch, the ground, the rail disputing the leaders. They come past the winning post with two more circuits of this entry track to go. And right up on the outside, Robin Faze has now been driven up to take a share of the lead. Going to get cut across to the fence, but it's the white witch who got the inside berth and the white witch who gets the lead. So the white witch it is then from Robin Faze, second. Goodbye, Millie in the two shades of green is third then the green jacketed bailey plume is fourth national heroine and inspector bergerat run together with on their inside original sunny a little gap then of half a length or so to dicky dares with dishy on that one's outside and then mr frosty the pink jacketed pink champagne with the red and green of private benamin and then the green with the red cap of himari ligo over there on the inside then the black colours of Monte Cassino with Ring of Esteem on his inside the Alex Cherry also on the outside of them is Alina Troot and just tucked in behind is Flaky Duffcott and Hadaj and Tahiti Noise at the back too as they skip over number two and make their way down towards number three Robin Faze and the White Witch are disputing the lead and they're a good three lengths clear of the remainder as they skip over to third they're all hurdling well Tahiti Noise just the back marker still a long way to go and it's Robin Faze by neck as they go to the fourth Robin Faze ran straight through that one and the White Witch has now gone on again so the White Witch leads by about a length Robin Faze second National Heroines move through into third then Bailey Plume and Goodbye Millie Pink Champagne on the outside and Inspector Bergerac just dropped back a little bit as we lose sight of them for a second or two behind the trees Making their way down towards the fifth, and over that one they go. A mistake there was by Hamari Largo, and Tahiti Noise is just getting a little bit detached at the back. But Robin Faze on the outside of the White Witch is still disputing the lead. We have National Heroine in Hot Pursuit in third. Eric Hinton's Pink Champagne on the outside is fourth. Then Dishy and Inspector Bergerac, Hamari Largo. Goodbye, Millie, after that one. An original Sunny Private Benjamin tucked away nicely in the middle of the pack there. Well, I'm with Dicky Dares just behind as they take the sixth, and Robin Faze has now opened up into a two length lead. So Robin Faze then in the lead by a couple of lengths as they pass the big crowd. Skips over that one, Robin Faze nicely. White Witch second, then Hamari Largo wide on the track third, Pink Champagne fourth, past the stands then, past the chair again. Cameraman must be perched on top of the water jump at the moment, I think. As we are about to see them pass the wooden post and swing out for one more circuit of this entry track. And Robin Faze is the leader from the White Witch in second. Inspector Bergerac is three and Pink Champagne is four. Goodbye Millie is five, then National Heroine is six, then Ring of Esteem and Hamari Largo, Flaky Duffcott, and then Original Sunny and Bailey Plume after them. But Robin Faze, I'm impressed again by the White Witch, Inspector Bergerac, is close up in third. And goodbye Millie, fourth. And Pink Champagne is fifth, and Flaky Duff got after that one. A ring of a steam and Hadaj next. Mixing down towards flight number eight. And the White Witch has got back into the lead again. And White Witch on the outside of Robin Faze in second. Inspector Bergerac, third. And goodbye Millie, fourth. Less than a mile to race now, then and this is the eighth, and the White Witch has gone on. Inspector Bergerac moves into second. Robin Faze trying to fight back on the inside in third. 
and good by a million flaky duff got the daily plume and ring of esteem this is the ninth and they're all still standing and they're all over that one as well white witch in the lead by about half a length of inspector bergerac second robin phase now starting to drop back through the pack good by a million bailey plume well placed to challenge as they begin to swing left-handed the way towards the final five furlongs they'll be racing towards home before too long and the white witch is in the lead inspector bergerac second as we're losing behind the trees again and bailey plume and goodbye millie coming around the outside hamari largo with a good jump there is now in contention also coming through is flaky duff cot but it's the white witch in the lead and flaky duff cot now moves into second with bailey plume original sunny hamari largo then goodbye millie ring of esteem still trying to get into it Trying to run on from the back is Haddad. Robin Faze is probably beaten, so too is Pink Champagne, but it's the White Witch in the lead still by about a length and a half through Flaky Duffcott in second. Then Original Sunny and Amari Largo and Bailey Plume and Goodbye Million Ring of Esteem and Haddad after that one. Coming down towards the second last, the White Witch stood off that one. Flaky Duffcott got over it well, being challenged by a stable companion. Original Sunny there. Then Amari Largo and Bailey Plume, Goodbye Million, but they've got to get past the White Witch. The White Witch has still got a spell on them all as they take over the final flight, but now Flaky Duffcott might just have the anti it's White Witch in the lead, Flaky Duff got on the outside, racing towards the far half along. The White Witch is in the lead, Flaky Duff got getting closer with every stride. The White Witch, Flaky Duff got, Flaky Duff got just beginning to get up. And the Flaky Duff got is going to take it up towards our Flaky Duff got the winner. The White Witch, Amari Lago, original Sunny, then Bailey Plume and Haddad, and then Ring of the Steam and National Halloween. And a field of trail back to Tahiti Noises, and that's one to finish. And the White Witch's spell wasn't quite powerful enough to last to the finishing post. And Flaky Duff got takes it so flaky duff got the winner then for graham clutterbuck the white witch second for joshua sutherland hamari largo for hems was third original sunny for graham clutterbuck was fourth and bailey plume for james shea was fifth